Wishing you all God's grace and blessings. Our today's saint is Saint Cecilia. Saint Cecilia is a patron saint of great musicians, poets and hymns. She is one of the most revered early Roman martyrs and one of the seven women commemorated in the canon of the mass. We celebrate the feast of Saint Cecilia on November 22nd. As it is today, let us reflect on her extraordinary life and steadfast faith. The life and vow of Saint Cecilia. Saint Cecilia lived in the 3rd century AD in the Roman Empire. She was born to a noble family in Rome. Despite taking a personal vow of chastity, her parents married her off to a young pagan nobleman named Valerian. In response to this, she wore sackcloth and underwent fasting. She also invoked the saints and angels and asked them to guard her purity. Before the marriage was consummated, Saint Cecilia told Valerian about her vow to virginity and that she had an angel watching over her. The angel would punish him if he sexually violated her. When Valerian asked to see this angel, Saint Cecilia told him that he would need first need to travel to the third milestone on the Apian Way and be baptized by Pope Urbanus. Saint Cecilia's husband followed her instructions and when he returned, he saw the angel standing beside her. The angel crowned her with a chaplet of roses of lilies. The love story of Saint Cecilia and her husband is recounted in a religious romance which circulated in Greek during the 4th century AD. When Valerian's brother Tibertius found out about the angel, he also asked to be baptized. Both brothers devoted their lives giving proper burials to the saints who were persecuted and killed by the prefect of their city, Tertius Almachius. Valerian and Tibertius were eventually arrested for their subversive activities and brought before Tertius Almachius. He ordered them to make a sacrifice to the pagan gods, but they refused and for this they were executed. Ministry and Martyrdom of Saint Cecilia While her husband and her brother brother-in-law were giving burials, Saint Cecilia devoted her time to her own ministry. She preached about the good news and was able to convert over 400 people. Most of these converts were baptized by Pope Urban. Saint Cecilia eventually faced persecution for her efforts, but she miraculously survived many of the torturous acts inflicted upon her. First, she was arrested and condemned to be suffocated in the baths. She was shut inside the bathhouse for one night and even when the fires were stoked, she was alive when her persecutors opened the doors. When the city prefect found out about this, he sent an executioner to cut off her hand, head. The executioner struck Saint Cecilia three times but was unable to decapitate her. Saint Cecilia was left bleeding and she lived for three more days. During the final three days of her life, Saint Cecilia continued to preach or offer her prayers to the crowds who had gathered around her. On the third day, she passed away and was buried by Pope Urban and his deacons. Saint Cecilia was buried at the catacombs of Saint Callistus. Saint Cecilia is regarded as the patroness of music because she heard heavenly music in her heart when she was married and is represented in art with an organ or organ pipes in her hand. Saint Cecilia is the first incorruptible saint. Saint Cecilia is the first saint discovered to have experienced the supernatural occurrence of incorruptibility. which means that her body did not decompose after death as a sign of her holiness. During the planned restoration of the Saint Cecilia's Church in 1599, the body of Saint Cecilia was exhumed. 
It was then found that her body remained incorrupt and emitted a strange and sweet-smelling odor. Such condition remained for a few days before it disintegrated due to exposure to air and other elements. Before it showed signs of decay, Renaissance sculptor Stefano Maderno was able to carve a marble statue after her incorrupt body. His masterpiece comes with a personal testimony which states, Behold the body of the most holy virgin, Cecilia, whom I myself saw lying uncorrupt in her tomb. I have in this marble expressed for three for the same saint in the very same posture and body. Saint Cecilia is one of the seven holy women mentioned in the canon of the Mass. After the consecration of the Eucharist in the Catholic Mass, the priest will offer often mention the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, the Twelve Apostles and 27 Saints, in addition to Saint Cecilia, Saint Felicity, Saint Perpetua, Saint Agatha, Saint Lucy, Saint Agnes and Saint Anastasia are the only female saints mentioned during the Eucharistic Prayer 1. Saint Cecilia's fame as patroness of music is closely interwoven with other legends about her. Many legends about Saint Cecilia contributed to her popularity as the patroness of music. Some of those recount that pipes were played at her wedding. These were believed to be organ pipes. Thus, Saint Cecilia has often been shown to be sitting next to a pipe organ. Such attribution even went to the extent of calling her as the inventor of the organ. Another story credited her survival from certain death to her songs of praise for the Lord while she was inside a sealed room for the whole day until the night when an executioner was trying to kill her. A festival, the oldest musical institution and a line of instruments are named after Saint Cecilia. The first music festival organized in honor of Saint Cecilia took place in Evrix, Normandy in 1570. Aside from that, one of the oldest musical institutions, the National Academy of St. Cecilia in Rome, also bears the name of its patroness. It was founded by the papal bull issued by Pope Sixtus V in 1585 and is still in existence today. Lastly, there is a line of wireless and violins which were named after the saint. These music musical instruments stamped with the label Saint Cecile were produced by Jean Baptiste Day. Conclusion Saint Cecilia reciprocated the immense love of God for her through evangelizing to the people and caring for those in need. She is an embodiment of a sweet melody which rises to the altar of God together with the heavenly hosts and the community of saints. May her example be our guide as we continue our pilgrimage here on earth so that we may become worthy to join in the choirs of angels in praising God. Saint Cecilia, wise virgin, whose heart burnt with the fire of divine love and apostle by thy zeal and charity, who converted thy spouse and procured for him the crown of martyrdom, Saint Cecilia, who by thy pleadings moved the hearts of pagans and brought them into the true church, pray for us. Amen. This is an initiative from the Catholic Women's Collective and this video is being prepared by Resurrection Church, Indiranagar. Wishing you all a blessed day. Thank you for watching.